Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we've been putting together this little e-commerce store using the free Elementor plugin. We put together this little sort of gaming desktop special section right here. Today let's add another section and let's make it a sort of top selling product section and add a couple of top selling products. Really easy to do with the Elementor and WooCommerce. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is hit the edit with Elementor button. And I'm going to go down to where I was, which is our new page here. You will notice when working with WooCommerce and Elementor, sometimes the products will show up here, sometimes they won't, but they always show up on the front end, which is the most important thing. First thing I'm going to do is just delete this section. And let's start again. Okay, so I'm going to add a heading. And you can top selling products, best computers, whatever you want to call yours. And let's style our font right here. First thing I want to do is put it in the middle with the alignment down the bottom here. Now I'm going to go to style. I'm going to give it a color. I guess I'll make it the red color we've been using. And I want to make it uppercase, so we'll go into typography. Go down to transform and make it uppercase. You can change the slide with a slider here or type in a value there, however you want to do it. That's great. So let's go back to our matrix. And next thing we want to do is put in our product IDs. I'm going to use a text editor to do this. You could use a code module if you wanted. Left click, drag, and just drop it where you want it. You see the blue lines telling you where it's going to go. I want it under my title here. Now we want to add a, a short code so we can display some of our WooCommerce products. And there's a great site here. You'll find the link to this below the video here and it's got all kind of short codes on it. I'm just going to copy this one that they've got here for products and then put in my own product numbers. Control C to copy and just paste it in the module. You can either paste it here or here, whichever works for you. Now I need to get rid of their numbers and put in my own numbers, making sure not to cut off the inverted commas there either side. Let's go to my products and choose a couple of numbers. Uh, you'll notice when you hover over it, it'll have the ID number underneath. There we go, 129, 119, 107, etc. So I just need to put the product numbers that I want in there and separate them with a comma. So let's put in 119, comma, and product number 83 and product number 52 and product number 48. There we go, let's update. And like I say, sometimes they show up here, sometimes they don't, but if we view it by hitting the little eyeball icon there, it'll open it in a new tab. Let's go down and just check. Okay, I'm missing one, I think product 83 perhaps change that. I think it might have been 63. Update. Now let's take a look and refresh. There we go. So we've got four little products there. You can add more if you want to and they'll just spill down into a new line. Or you can add another short code for columns if you want to change the amount of columns that you've got there. Just have a look at these short codes and it'll tell you exactly how to do that. Okay, so we've actually got our products in here. The next thing I want to do is just put a simple gradient in the background just to make it a little more interesting looking. So let's go to our section, the blue tab. And we'll go to style. As you can see, suddenly they've dropped, they've shown up as I've gone to the section there. And I want to go to gradient. And let's make the first color something like black perhaps. Yeah, that works for me absolutely fine. So that's really all I want to do to this little section here. Just update. 
and have a look at it on the other end. Yeah, that's fine. It's going to work absolutely perfectly for me. Like I say, you can add more products and put whatever you want there. What would be nice, we'll perhaps do it in the next video, is to get all of our WooCommerce buttons here and our sales tags to be the same color as the buttons we've been using at the top. And that involves a little bit of uh, CSS, but it's really easy and I'll give you everything you need to do it in the next video. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.